In recent days, thousands of people have been fleeing from the Islamic State group's last bastion in eastern Syria as the jihadists continue to lose ground. Kurdish forces backed by U.S.-led coalition airstrikes have been battling since September to push them out, and it's now widely felt that this is the final phase of the battle. France 24's James Andre sent us this update from near the front line. Most of the fighting here takes place after sunset. That is the moment where the Syrian Democratic Forces actually manage to make most of their gains. On average, they manage to conquer about 800 meters every night. That's what one of the commanders told us uh, tonight on the front line. We're also told that they believe there are between four and 500 jihadists that are still in those two villages that the Islamic State group still controls. Now, as we were close to that front line, we could witness some of the action. We saw a lot of wounded fighters be uh, taken out from uh, these front lines. We could hear a lot of the gunfire. And we were also uh, told about uh, one of the stories that took place. We saw a big bulldozer being moved towards these front lines and the men were telling us uh, that they were going to use it in order to collapse a house inside which there was a couple of jihadi fighters, foreign fighters, uh, probably from Chechnya. In any case, uh, finally they managed to kill both of these foreign fighters uh, with a gunshot, but they had negotiated with them for about four hours to ask them to surrender, which did not happen. That goes to show how determined the fighters who are left in these two villages are, and this is why it is so difficult to advance. The whole area is completely mined. There are tunnels, and indeed the jihadis managed to come out behind the SDF lines to attack them from the rear.